Can life exist on Mars? Did life exist on Mars when it hosted water bodies? Is it microbial life, or is it something more? Solving these questions has been attempted by researchers since the dawn of the Red Planet's exploration. As we are sending more and more orbiters and rovers, these questions have been put to experimental tests by astrobiologists and other researchers. Microbial Life on Mars – An Astrobiological Exploration of the Red Planet As early astronomers, theorists, and researchers theorized that water existed on Mars, they speculated that life on Mars was a possibility. As the research progressed, polar ice caps and evidence of water on Mars became clear. This opened doors for further investigations. Although some Mars missions discovered water in the form of ice underground, or on the poles, none of them discovered liquid water on the surface of Mars. Recently, a study proposed the habitability factors to sustain life on Mars. These include liquid water, suitable chemical environment, energy for metabolism, and conducive physical environments. However, these factors are theorized for life that is similar to life on Earth. But, if life did form on early Mars, it has to follow different biochemistry and different biospheric requirements. The Possibilities There are a few scenarios that can support the existence of life on Mars. Scenario 1 Early Mars had life and it died out over time as the planet changed to a dry and cold world. If this was the case, fossil evidence of this life would be found at some point in the future. Scenario 2. Early Mars had life, but now it only exists beneath the surface of the planet. This can be proven when scientists figure out the correct conditions in the underground of the red planet that could support life and then sample there for evidence. Scenario 3. Life is seeded on Mars naturally. Asteroid impacts to the planet send the debris to other planets. Any such impacts on Earth, since life started here, could send a rock filled with life to Mars to be reproduced there. It may be less probable, but it is not impossible. If this is the case, it could be proven if some kind of life is found on Mars, and it would be gene tested for an ancestor on Earth. Scenario 4. Contaminated equipment sent from Earth could have some microbes that travel to Mars. These scenarios could prove to be viable, but there may very well be another scenario, that is, Mars is devoid of any life. The Search as Martian geography has been extensively mapped over the past two decades via orbiters and rovers, the researchers found more than 500 lakes of sizes greater than 100 square kilometers. This number may seem high, but 70% of lakes on Earth are smaller than 100 square kilometers, so researchers believe 70% of smaller lakes are yet to be discovered. It has been indicated that much of the lakes discovered are of the Noachian period, that is, 4.1 to 3.7 billion years ago, with a time interval of 400 million years. Although there is also evidence that lakes existed in the Hesperian period, that is, 3 to 3.7 billion years ago, and that shallow, marshy lakes existed during the Amazonian, less than 3 billion years ago, most of them still remain unexplored. Many of the researchers are testing the waters with the harshest conditions on Earth, and have presented evidence that microbes could exist in such extreme conditions. This includes the cold lakes, similar to that of lakes on Mars, formed during recent past geological activity. And some researchers claim that life could thrive on the cold geysers on the surface of Mars. There is much exploration to do before one can conclude that Mars is devoid of life. Geological Evidence A rock has escaped from the surface of Mars, possibly due to an asteroid impact 16 million years ago. 
and it traveled for a long time and impacted Earth 13,000 years ago. This meteorite was later named ALH84001, and it was found by meteorite hunters in 1984 in Antarctica. This small rock has become the subject of research and was found to be from Mars. And dating to 4.1 billion years old, it existed during the water-bearing period of Mars. An astrobiologist of NASA, David McKay, and his colleagues found three types of evidence by examining the rock. First, they found the traces of complex organic compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAHs, which are associated with microbial life. Second, they discovered microscopic grains of magnetite, which is a magnetic iron oxide and iron sulfide. These two compounds are rarely found in the presence of carbonates, unless produced by bacterial metabolism. Finally, under electron microscopes, they found large numbers of worm-like forms that resemble fossilized bacteria. Even though evidence seemed pretty concrete, this research was bombarded with controversy and criticism. Later examinations showed that it is impossible to tell whether the microbial evidence from the meteorite is from Earth or from Mars. Similarly, there were the other meteorite cases of Nagla, Shergedi, and Yamato 000593. Chemical Evidence The first chemical evidence would be liquid water. Even though the frozen water is found on the red planet's poles and underground, there is no evidence and possibility of liquid water as of now. Spirit Rover discovered silica, which is reminiscent of the hot spring that was in contact with volcanic rocks. This is crucial evidence that can prove in its geologically active period Mars had hydrothermal systems that were favorable for life. Furthermore, chemical evidence includes the presence of methane that projects towards possible microbial life in the underground of Mars, and there were controversial claims of formaldehyde that pointed towards colonies of microbial life. Although all the evidence as of now cannot prove that Mars hosted life with 100% certainty, it can open doors to further exploration. The Future In recent years, scientists have discovered a biome in the depths of Earth that is fairly separated from the world above. As there is no sunlight in the depths, these creatures survive on chemical reactions between rocks and water. One of those reactions is called radiolysis, in radiolysis, water breaks into hydrogen and oxygen when radioactive elements in the rocks react with water. Hydrogen is diluted in the water, and oxygen is soaked up by minerals in the water, like pyrite, to form sulfate minerals. These microbes then ingest the hydrogen as a fuel, and use oxygen in the minerals to burn that fuel. New studies are looking for such radiolysis evidence by tuning in the equipment to find the ingredients of similar processes. Recent findings by Perseverance rover indicated some interesting evidence of rocks that favors life on a lake bed in Jezero Crater on Mars. The future of astrobiological exploration of life on Mars is bright as more and more rovers are aimed towards finding any evidence suggesting microbial life existed, or still exists, on the Red Planet. Some of the future robotic missions will be equipped with biotechnological innovations, making the search for the biosignatures of life easier. As humans, our nature is always to explore and find new things in new places. Even if we can't find any life on Mars, the technological innovation and research will help to find life elsewhere in the Milky Way and the universe. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel.